we know that if data size grows, file size also grows. But did you know that adding pivot table also increases the file size? This happens because pivot table always creates a copy of the data and works on that copy. It also saves that copy along with the file. That is what leads to increase in file size. We cannot change that behavior of pivot table, but we can control whether the copy is saved with the file or not. Let's see all this in action. This file has 25,000 rows of data in one sheet. The file size is 1.5 MB. Let's add an empty pivot table to this file and check the file size. It has already grown to 2 MB. The file size did not double because the copy of the data kept by pivot is compressed, but it still added 0.5 MB. Now I'm going to delete the raw data and save the file. Now the file size has reduced to 0.5 MB. Not surprising because we know that the, the raw data is gone. Now the question is, will this pivot table work? And surprisingly, it does because it doesn't look at the raw data at all unless you say refresh. It just works on its own copy of data. If you refresh it, it will give you an error, but nothing is lost because as you know, when you double click on a grand total of pivot table, it is going to create a new sheet and give you back all the raw data. This was about a single pivot table. What about multiple pivot tables? There are two ways of creating multiple pivot tables. The most common is we create one pivot table and make copies of it with copy paste. In this case, all these pivot tables work on a single copy of the raw data. If you click inside the raw data and create a new pivot table, that creates a new copy of the raw data. So now let's add one more pivot table to this file and check the file size. And as expected, it has increased by 0.5 MB to 2.5 MB. In short, for this sample data, every time I add a fresh pivot table, the file size is going to grow by 0.5 MB. This is a very common reason why files become unnecessarily large. If all pivots use the same copy of data, refreshing one of them will refresh all of them. If multiple pivots are independently created, they have their own copies of data. That's why you must refresh them one by one. Of course, there is a refresh all command in the data tab, which also works. Now the question is, pivot table is always going to make a copy of the data, but should we save it with the file or not? There is a setting in pivot table options, which allows you to choose whether to save that data with the file. By default, it is on. So here is a pivot table with raw data. The current file size is 2 MB. Now I'm going to deactivate the save data option and save the file. Now the file size, as you would expect, is 1.5 MB because that 0.5 MB which was earlier occupied by the copy of pivot table data is not there. Now when I open the file and try to modify the pivot table, it does not work. It will give you an error message. But it's not a worrying error message. All it is asking you to do is to do a refresh, in which case pivot table copy will be created and everything will work fine. Now, of course, you'll have to do it every time you open the pivot table. That is why if you deactivate save data, it's a good idea to activate refresh data on open option as well. Remember that if the raw data is very large, recreating the pivot copy will also take some amount of time. How to use all this knowledge in practice? If the raw data is inside Excel itself, and you're sure that the data is never going to increase or change, then follow this method. Create the pivot table, make sure that the save data option is on, and then delete the raw data, save the file. This will reduce the file size drastically, but pivot table will still work. Let's take another situation. If there is Excel-based raw data, 
but it does change often and it also gets appended frequently, then we must prevent the pivot table copy of the data being stored to reduce the file size and enable the refresh data on open option. If the data is coming from external databases and you want to work offline, of course you will have to allow a pivot table to save the copy of the data. By the way, the copy of the data which pivot table creates and stores is called pivot cache. With Power Pivot, data is not stored in Excel sheet at all, but it is stored in a database called Power Pivot Data Model. Here is the same data of 25,000 rows, but instead of Excel sheet, I have stored it in a data model. And look at the difference in file size. It has reduced almost half to 0.8 MB. And now if we create a pivot table based on this data model, the file size increases just by 4 kilobytes. What does that mean? Pivot table created from data model does not create a copy of the data. It works directly with the data model. Now if I remove the data model, it just reduces the file size to 63 KB, which is nothing almost. And at that point, the pivot table is not usable because it doesn't create its own copy. And that is why for pivot tables created from data model, the save data option is grayed out or inactive because it's irrelevant or redundant. Now that you have the understanding of impact of pivot tables on file size, I strongly suggest that you look at every pivot table you have created in the past and choose the right approach. Of course, try it out on a copy first, check that it works and then apply it to the live file.